Hey guys, Christy here. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I am a 39 year old mother of five children living in Las Vegas. I normally do videos on here about cleaning and routines and foster care and adoption and just like the general mom lifestyle. I really wanted to do something different today because it is the new year. Secretly want to like speak to like my teen and early 20s self um, because I was a completely different person there when it comes to money and financial responsibility. I had terrible credit. I'm talking like 400s. I lived in a very not so nice neighborhood in a 500 square foot apartment. Um, I lived in not great cities. I didn't make good choices. Um, I was out partying and clubbing and yeah, this is gonna be a real and raw video. Welcome. I wanna make this video for some of you who are really frustrated in, with your financial state and are working low income jobs and just not happy and wishing you can have more, wishing you can provide more for your family, wishing you had a better home. First of all, money does not buy you happiness, but I do understand that it is a lot of, um, it is a route to a lot of depression and anxiety and stress and financial hardships and just overall stress on a parent not being able to provide as much for their children. So I really want to make this video so we can talk about, you know, priorities and the importance of learning how to educate yourself on financial health and wealth and what you can do with the money that you do have to make sure you cherish it and treat it right and put it where it needs to go instead of just frivolously spending on things that are not your priorities for life. This is just like a mix of personal experience, some of my stories and some of the tips and trips that I've learned along the way to kind of help me be um, down the right path to learn and be a little bit more savvy with money. I can't sit here and tell you how to manage your money. I'm not gonna give you fancy spreadsheets because I don't have one. I don't have color-coded budgeting plans. I don't have any of that stuff. I, I don't do the envelope system. I don't follow some Dave Ramsey thing. I don't do any of that. I just think to myself, you know, what is the value of this dollar? Is it worth me spending it on something? It's just very simple. It's just kind of training your mind to be financially savvy in some way or another where you're not just frivolously spending. And yes, I know, easier said than done when you have more of a comfortable income than you do a low income, but you can still have a low income working a minimum wage job or less and be smart with your money. And you can actually be richer than people making more money because you are smart with your money. And another reason why I wanna sit down and be real with you guys is because on some of my comments when I do like my routines and cleaning videos, I get comments from people saying like, oh, it must be nice to be able to afford a house like that, or it must be nice. You know, guys, I'm 39 years old, and um, I haven't always had a nice home like this. Like, it took me 11 steps and 11 different moves to get to this point to give this to our five children, to be able to have space for all of them to have their own unique individual spaces, and to have a home that we want to raise our children in and live our life in. And um, it took a very long time. So it just was not given to us, it was not handed to us. And I, I think that some viewers view YouTubers and lifestyle influencers with nicer homes as being lucky and having it be handed to them and they're like oh it must be nice to have that lifestyle but um speaking for me individually like i worked for this but if i would have known now what i knew in my early 20s like i would have been set for life i would have been in even a better situation than i am now because i wouldn't have made those mistakes i didn't know about credit the value of a dollar i literally wasted time in my life i worked to party at night and I wasted my money and more and was incurring more debt every day. And my priorities were messed up. Like I wanted to kick it. That was my priority. And now my priority is feeding my family, having savings accounts for my kids, paying off my debt, paying off my cars, having life insurance to make sure that my family is taken care of. So those type of priorities, type of thinking and train of thought and mindset are really, really important for young adults. And I really hope that this video brings some light to some of these things. And like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just someone that has went from bad credit 
to good credit and has changed my life now that I'm a little bit older in my life. <laughs> You can have the best paying job in the world and still be broke if you don't have financial plans or budgeting or if you don't use your money wisely. And just because you have more money does not make you better at managing it. So I'm gonna just talk about some of my tips for you guys. First of all, auto payments are life. To protect your credit, to protect you from adding extra expenses, late fees, things like that, you wanna make sure that all of your bills are on auto payments. Even if it's your credit card, if it's just on a minimum payment. Don't get stuck there, don't get used to just paying the minimum payments, but if you have your auto payments set up for minimum payments, then you're for sure guaranteed to not get those 30 day, 60 day, and 90 day dings on your credit and incur more fees. There's nothing worse, been there, done that, about 25 years ago, of missing a like $15.99 minimum payment on a credit card, having it be a 30 day late, or if you don't catch it you know, in time, a 60 or 90 day late ding on your credit. That stays on your credit for seven years, and it dramatically lowers your score. It's ridiculous, so just make sure that everything is on automatic payment, even for the minimum payment. Credit is very, very important. And I don't think a lot of parents teach about credit, how your credit is like your lifeline. It's like your honesty. It's like shows how trustworthy you are in paying back debt. The higher your score, the lower your debt is, the more attractive it is gonna be for like if you wanna get a car one day, or if you wanna get a mortgage loan, or if you're in a financial hardship and you desperately need like an emergency loan for bills or to take care of your family or anything, even to feed your family. Sometimes some of us are in those positions where we're desperately in need. And if you don't have the credit, you're, you can't get the help. So it's really important to control of your credit. There's so many videos out there and I'll put a couple of my favorite ones that I've seen that I think are really good for beginners in teaching about being wise and smart with your credit, how to build it, how not to mess it up, how to use it appropriately. I'll put those links below. Also, so having good credit is like a self of accomplishment. It's like your pride, like I built my credit up, I have the score, and it's something you're gonna wanna keep up for sure. In addition to having your priorities set and to make sure that you are spending wisely and taking advantage of all the budgeting tools and all the things that I've been discussing, I really think it's important to prepare for the future as well, especially if you have kids like myself. If one of us was no longer here, I really think it's important to plan ahead and make sure that we are covered so that we can offset the loss of income from one of the parents to make sure that we can financially prepare and provide for our children. This portion of this video is sponsored by Ethos Life. So if you have loved ones, if you have dependents, if you have an aging parent that you're taking care of, life insurance is super duper important. I think it's often overlooked as being like difficult or hard to do or it takes a lot of time and a lot of paperwork and a lot of questions and it really is not it's super super easy according to USDA an average cost to raise a child is two hundred and thirty four thousand dollars not even considering college tuition if you own life insurance at the time that you pass it can help ensure that your children will be able to grow and have the financial support to have the life that you want for them if you own a home or you plan on purchasing a home if you pass away you are going to leave that burden and that debt to your family member your child or your co-signer they're just going to be stuck with it and you're going to pass on that financial burden so if you own a home consider getting life insurance that lasts for the amount of time that it takes for you to pay off your mortgage debt. Traditional life insurance has been confusing, expensive, and consuming. The traditional process to obtain life insurance can take weeks to complete. And that's just the application process. Ethos offers a 100% online application that can be completed within a matter of minutes. No medical exams required, just answer a few health questions. With Ethos, you can get a quote in seconds, apply in minutes, and get covered in just hours. You don't need to talk to an agent unless you want to. Ethos' own agents are non-commissioned, meaning their motivation is to help you find the right coverage for you. 
not to sell you more. Ethos is looking to make it accessible for all, making it easier and faster to apply for quality policies and top rated carriers. So like I said before, with Ethos Life, you do not have to talk to an agent. It's very, very simple. You just go online. It takes minutes. The application process is really seamless and easy to do. Agents are not commissioned, meaning they won't upsell you. They're just there to help you match you with the right policy that fits your needs. Ethos is rated excellent by customers on Trustpilot and has an A plus rating from Better Business Bureau. In about 10 minutes, you could protect your family and it takes as little as $10 a month. On top of that, life insurance rates increases eight to 10% every single year. So it's really a good idea to lock in your rate as soon as possible. If you're interested in learning more about Ethos or interested in getting a free life insurance quote, go ahead and click the link down in my description to check it out. Thank you, Ethos Life, for sponsoring this video. Now, my kids' savings accounts. I think that it's really important to save form our kids' future as well as protect their future with life insurance. So as little as you can or as much as you can, I think it's really important to set up accounts for each of your children as soon as they're born. And I don't mean, you know, putting hundreds of dollars in it every single month to each their own. If you can do that, amazing. If not, $5, $10, maybe even none one month, but offset it the next month. So what I did was when my kids are very young, obviously my kids are adopted, so they came into my life at various times and various ages. But for my twins, especially, you know, they've been in my life since they were newborns. And as soon as they were adopted at 18 months, that's when I set up their custodial accounts. So basically they, this account cannot be touched until they are 18. I believe it is. I think, I don't know. I'm not a financial expert, but I believe it's age 18. My name's on it and their names on it as well. I can go ahead and close it whenever, but they can't, um, until they are 18. The money cannot be taken out. The only time the money can be taken out is if I close the account completely. So I've been putting money in there as much as I can. Some months I wasn't able to, I needed more money for expenses and um, I wasn't able to some months, but I really try to offset it. So I know for a month or two, if I wasn't able to put money into their accounts, that I know on that third month that I'm gonna put double in to try to make up for it. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it, but I really think it's important to save for our kids' future. It's really important that we help as parents. We help a little, but we also encourage them to make money. So I would love to like split that, to buy a used car for my son or daughter, but split it with them. Like, hey, mom and dad is meeting you halfway, but you need to get a job and you need to raise the half other half of the funds to be able to get this goal. And I think it's a really helpful tool to set our kids up by helping them for life, but also teaching them responsibility at the same time. I know not all families are like that, but that's what I would like to do, and that's how I would like to provide for my children. And I knew that having a large family was going to be difficult, and I needed to plan, and I needed to have my priorities straight, and I needed to make sure I planned ahead of time when they're little, for these scenarios because I would hate to have all five of my kids entering college around the same time because they're all back to back and not have college tuition and not have money for them for a dorm or for a used car for them to get around. You know, um, I think it's really important that we can prioritize and plan for the future. So me personally, I thought it was a good idea to have custodial accounts for all five of my children so that I can help them prepare for their adult life. Another tip is to pay your bills first. Before you go out and buy a cute new dress, there's plenty in your closet, before you go out and buy bottle service or go to a club or spend money on a lavish vacation or even just be frivolous with like snacks that you don't need at Walmart when you really should be buying healthy food for your kids, pay your bills pay off that debt because the sense of accomplishment to pay down your bills rather than spending on frivolous things is going to help you in the long run. Trust me. As soon as I get paid, I'm like, okay, mortgage needs to be paid, the car payment needs to be paid, life insurance needs to be paid, this needs to be paid, that needs to be paid. Then I go on to extra things like my kids' activities, you know, whatever things that I have budgeted for in my groceries. But bills need to be paid. I think that's a really, really good habit to get ourselves into, to take care of all of our responsibilities first before we even think about where any of that extra, if there is extra money is gonna go. I just wanna say that I know this is hard. I know that being an adult is rough. 
being a parent is hard. Working, laundry, school, COVID, everything is so hard. Home ownership, renting, really truly believe that money is the root of a lot of issues in life. You know, it's why people rob. Uh, the root of a lot of divorces and domestic disputes and a lot of hardships and a lot of stress between couples and just like individual and depression and anxiety. Money is definitely a cause for some of those things. Think that it is just the root of evil. <laughs> like money, 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 more money, more problems. And you, everyone wants that champagne lifestyle, but they want to be comfortable. They want to have a future planned out so that they feel comfortable and they know that their kids are gonna get somewhere in life. And they think that money is needed for that. And in some degree, yes. Remember, I'm not an expert. I'm just a mom that has been through a tough time and priority switches and changes and growing up and learning about my own credit and learning about my own financial priorities and not even financial priorities, like what are my priorities in life? What do I want for myself? What do I want for my, my lifestyle with my husband? What do I want for my kids? And as soon as I got my priorities in lock and kind of like down a path of where I wanted to go, it was much easier to go down that path. And just remember that more money equals more problems. So if you're gonna want and wish and work for more money, make sure that you have your priorities straight and that you budget and you use your money wisely, you cherish it because it is so precious. If you are gonna spend your hard earned day working all day, make sure that that money is going where you want it to go. It's just a lot. Being an adult is a lot and I just really felt a need to have this conversation with you guys because the world is so money, money, money. It's all about money and then, but people want more money but they don't wanna budget it and they wanna spend it on like bottle service and going out with their friends and they have their priorities all mixed up. So if you are younger and you are just starting out in life, don't really have an idea of how money works, I suggest you just do your own research. There's tons of YouTube videos on budgeting, on money management, on credit, on how to pay debt, how to build your credit, how to use your credit wisely. There's so many resources out there. And I suggest you just like taking a piece of paper and writing down your priorities. Like, what do I want in life? Do I want to go out every night and get bottle service? Do I want to hang out with my friends? Do I want to show off the 60 bucks that I made at my minimum wage job throughout the day and just like waste it that night and more and create more debt? Or do you want that money to be cherished and really spend it wisely for the benefit of your future for you and your spouse and your loved ones and your future kids? So I really, really hope this video was helpful and inspired you guys to kind of like think about your priorities and think about what you want in life and really think about learning more about your financial health and what you would want for the future. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Remember, I am just a mom who came from not really having anything to having um, a comfortable lifestyle. And I, by no means do I call myself wealthy or rich or having everything because you know I still have lots of financial goals that I would like to accomplish in life. And I still have five very young children that I need to help raise and get off to college and help them with their futures. So I really wanna be able to be the type of parent that helps them do that and not is just like, okay, you're 18, peace out, have fun. Like, we're gonna learn to write checks. We're gonna learn about credit. We're gonna learn about the importance of keeping your credit and using it wisely and making sure that it is a part of you and you're proud of. That is the type of parent I want to be. I want to teach them financial responsibility, financial health, how important it is. I want them to have their priorities straight and I really think that if I can get myself straight, then I'm able to teach my children that. So think about that guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.